who was the most legit tough badass? The absolute king. Har- Haku. Everyone says Haku. Have you actually have you actually seen Haku in action, or is this all secondhand stories? Mostly secondhand stories, but believable ones. And I'm, I mean, you know, I I can see it happening. I mean, you know, and one time was he was they were trying to arrest him somewhere, and I think it was in California, and he was getting tasered and just ripping the tasers out and throwing cops around, and you know, just just a man man handling people but um i ribbed him when he first came to to the united states he came to florida and he was prince tonga and he was about 185 pounds and little did i know he would end up being the toughest guy in the wrestling business and he was a little kind of a target for me because he was so naive and I was notorious for catching animals on the way to the matches. And what I mean by that was anything that crossed the road in front of me on some of the long stretches and the Everglades and places, I got out and chased it because I'd like to catch it. And I'd catch snakes. I'd ca- I caught an armadillo one time. And Paul Orndorff and I were riding the West Palm. And I told Paul Orndorff, I said, you see those armadillos on the side of the turnpike? I'll bet you a hundred bucks I can run one down. And Paul's looking at me and he's going, no way. And I got out and I put my towel that I was going to use that night up in front of me like I'm hiding behind it. And I got down on the interstate and I, I went all the way to the grass where it got high. And I cut them off from there to the turnpike by just being lower than them. And I got in front of them, and then I took off. And when they take off, they're not as fast as a rabbit, but they scoot along pretty good. And I was young enough that I could keep up with them, but the idea was is they could turn back and forth real quick on you. So I took my towel and just dove on this armadillo, and I hooked him, and I got him in my towel, and we put him in the trunk. And when we got to West Palm, I said, you know, I'm going to put him in somebody's wrestling bag. and course i said ponga because i got a feeling i'm going to get the best reaction out of him and that's the only reason it wasn't any reason personally it was just personal entertainment on myself and paul orndorff's <laughs> side and i put it in his bag and when he went to open his bag the head popped up of a live armadillo which he had no idea what that was in his bag and he freaked totally out and the reaction was enough to keep humor and stories alive for 50 years about what happened so 